All of us are broken people. We need healing. And all this month, we're looking at some of the tools that God uses to bring that healing. Dr. Rob Reamer is the author of Soul Care, Seven Transformational Principles for a Healthy Soul. Rob, you got into that first principle about identity, one of the longer chapters, because this is absolutely important. If we don't understand how God sees us, it's going to affect how we live our lives. Yeah, so your identity is like a foundation in a house, right? And no matter how good the builder, no matter how good the building material, if the foundation isn't set properly, the house is in trouble. So you have to set the foundation. That means you have to bring your thinking into alignment with God's thinking about you. I love Jesus' line in John 8, 32, which we often misquote. We only quote the second half of the verse. We quote, you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. free. Yeah. But that's not what Jesus taught. What Jesus taught was exactly this. If you hold to my teaching, then you are my disciples and you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. Jesus never taught knowing the truth will bring transformation. Jesus taught holding on to the truth mm. would bring transformation. So going to church meetings won't transform our lives. No. So for me, I knew the truth. I preached the truth. You're loved, right? Even while you're yet sinners, Christ died for you. We know the verses. We can quote them. The issue is this. Have I integrated that truth by holding on to it into the center of my being oh. so that I am now living off this true foundation? So I'm living off the foundation that the issue of my value is settled at the cross, that the Father said when Jesus died on my behalf and your behalf, I love you so much, you're worthy of my son's blood. And it's not what we do. You know, guys like you and I, you know, hey, if I'm in ministry and I'm doing these things, God might love me just a little bit more. Yeah, I mean, one of the, one of the lies that we often struggle with is the issue of my value, my worth is dependent upon my performance. So if I'm doing really well in work and all the numbers are going up and to the right, I'm getting all the right reviews, promotions, I'm doing really well morally. I'm not doing this and I'm doing that. I'm checking all the boxes of what I should and should not do. I feel better about myself. Mm. But the truth is, the issue of your value isn't dependent upon your performance at all. So you're an author, and I know that a lot of the things that you write about is out of your own journey. And I kind of think a guy named Paul, who wrote like more than half the New Testament, was dealing with that. Because in Ephesians, 30 times it was either in him or in Christ. He was trying to get that into himself. Yeah. Yeah, so, and he's also trying to help the church at Ephesus. Remember, they had come out of pagan, you know, idolatry worship, and they were afraid and a lot of us, the decisions we make are out of fear. We're afraid someone doesn't love us. We're afraid about our performance and we don't perform right, then we don't feel loved. And so he's trying to sink down their roots mm. that they are loved because they are in Christ and Christ is in them. That's why they're secure. Yeah, it's not what you do. This identity thing is so important. We're going to pick it up again next time with Dr. Rob Reamer. And here's how you can get your copy of Soul Care, Seven Transformational Principles for a Healthy Soul.